tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Let's get started with animation. Hello friends, this is a tutorial about proper selection, about a simple polygon command and about a boolean operation which is basically subtracting one surface from the other. Pretty simple, pretty nice and if you ask me why do you do this tutorial, what is this good for? Well, it just looks beautiful. But I'm sure you can use it in totally different contexts. So enjoy. This command is the one we're going to talk about today. It's called merge to center. Merge the selected components to their center point. Component mode is this. If you create uh, some kind of geometry and this is the object mode. You see everything in green. When you press the key F8 you see little dots here. When you press F8 again you see the object. This is the object mode, this is the component mode. You can also reach the component mode using the right mouse button. But of course most of you will know this. So uh, if we uh, pick for example faces here, this is a face, this is a face, this is a face, we just select those here and the ones here and now we apply this command. You find this uh, under Polygon Modeling, under the Polygon Modeling tab, or if you're under Modeling here, you find it under Edit Mesh and Merge to Center. And it does this, and it looks pretty horrible. You see that flickering here means there are overlapping faces on, in the polygon. It's not an intact surface anymore. So this is a uh, frustration we of often have when we uh, use a new command and uh, we just create a new scene here. No, we don't want to see this. But uh, if you use a proper selection and have a certain geometry in mind, you might have very much fun with this command here. So let's create a box. Here in the attribute editor, if you don't see this, press uh, Control A for attribute editor. And you go to poly cube here and here you see the subdivisions and the subdivisions um, are set to one by one by one and in this case we'll, we'll go for 10 by 10 by 10. That means we're just creating a higher resolution geometry. Now when you right mouse click and go to say vertices, vertex and want to select those here you will see that you've selected uh, uh, several uh, vertices at the back as well and not exactly in the same pattern as in the front. That's because it's a perspective selection here. So when we select these here, for example, we'll select those ones as well without <laughs> even knowing it, knowing it. So always when you do a selection, look at the back of the object. Now this icon here is for the four views in Maya. And what we'll do now is press the spacebar briefly and that brings up the th three orthogonal windows as they call. This is the top window, the front window and this is the side window. So um, let's just select the whole object and press F here so we see it closer. It looks the same but it's actually uh, looking at the object from all different ang angles. So from the top for example when we select those points here we select the ones up here and exactly the ones down down there because we're in an orthogonal view here. So um, let's do this for example. Really nice selection. Do the same here we need to press the shift key in order to additionally select those see wonderful selection here and the same again right here that's this part now we've selected this is I think you can call it an intelligent selection now press this command here or as I said edit mesh and merge to center and now you get this object 
It's very interesting because the merging process merges the center of that of all six sides of the cube into the center of the scene actually and uh, if we for example select the faces and delete these faces here that's not an exact selection really we see that they actually merge to the very center this is the point where all of them uh, go together let's undo this of course and um, right mouse click so we have object mode now we need a nice shader second thing we're going to do is a boolean operation the boolean operations are here mesh booleans we have three types union difference and intersection union unites more objects uh, into one the difference is subtracting one object from another one and intersection is sort of well what's common to both or, or more surfaces so uh, we'll use mainly the difference today and uh, we're gonna subtract something interesting from our new object here we create another cube you can see it's it's gray and we scale it down like this the cube inside the gray cube is selected and now with the shift key we additionally select our merged cube object here and now we go to mesh booleans and create a difference so we selected the smaller cube inside first and then the outside object and this is the object we get interesting but I would prefer to select them the other way around so first I select the, uh, the red object and then with a the shift key the inside object and then I apply the same boolean operation again and now we have this object which is quite nice Now if you find the hole too small or too big, what can you do about it? Well Maya has history, that means the whole operation is still in memory and you can manipulate it and I'll show you how to do this. This is the cube number two, this is the second cube we introduced here, that's the grey cube here. It is all of a sudden a group and not just a node here, so when we open it it's here and it's grayed out because it's hidden and we don't need to unhide it but we can press the key R for example that's the scaling tool and if we scale the invisible gray cube we get this influence here and of course you can animate this if you like and with this, I'll leave you alone and have a nice day. Bye-bye.